guys, it's Ivy and I'm finally back! Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between Ipsy and Birchbox. And I finally got around getting my glam bag. Like, I've been on the waiting list for about three months. And they finally took me off because they have this limited time offer thing. So definitely check your email because they do have, like you know, get off the waiting list special, or if you make a friend join, then that work too. So, the first box I'm going to open, I actually don't know, like, both of them seem so great. For some reason, like, for this birch box, it seems a lot better than the last birch box, so I'm just going to open this, I guess. I find this heavier than my usual birch boxes, so I'm just going to open it, why not YOLO, you know? I'm really bad at this. And might still have a sleeping voice. <laughs> okay, that sounded really hot, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Got that first layer off. Now I got my birch box. Okay, I'm gonna open it because I honestly have no idea what is in this. And it actually came on time this time. Like, I'm so proud of them. So, this sheet thing, which I'm not gonna read. Okay, it's just going to be like a treasure hunt. This first thing, oh, these are always fun. Away we go. Okay. I wonder what's in here. Maybe a perfume sample. No, no. Oh, it's a perfume sample. Ah! I hate them. Okay, next. Oh, these little bags. I hate you. Okay. This is a hydrating conditioner. I don't care. Okay, Birch Box. I don't want these crap. Money for this, okay? It's not like you know, I get to review these items and be all luxury about it. Like, nah, okay, hey, they suck so much. Like, all the time, they give me this little sample body lotion, and I have 10 million of them, so whatever. This one is Gilchrist and Sony's. I don't know, I'm just, I want to give up on Birchbox. Next is this. Face rejuvenizer, and this is supposed to brighten up your face. I guess I would definitely use this, but still. Oh, Birchbox sucks. Like, I don't recommend it. What is this? Oh, this is. Oh, this is actually really cool. This is a new They're Real push up liner, and I. Oh, I think. What? Okay! They give me an advertisement for. The They're Real, I'm actually really mad. Okay, so they give me an advertisement for the They're Real push-up liner, right? And they're saying how it comes out on June 27th and how it's so high demand, but they don't even give me a sample of this. Like, this is a useless piece of paper. Okay, I'm so done with Birchbox, honestly. I'm so done, and this is the hydrating shampoo. I honestly don't need any more travel sizes for, like, these things, oh my gosh, like Birchbox, so don't subscribe to it because they suck so much. Like, now, like, it's the second month in a row where I'm just, like, disappointed, and I don't even remember what I got two months ago, but it's just really bad. Oh, next is this natural BB cream, and this is, like, a BB cream sunscreen. This is actually something I will use, so I guess that's pretty good, right? But, like, this month I got a bunch of, like, products that I won't really use. Like, they don't give me any makeup. Like, what's the point? Like, I wanted to subscribe to Birchbox ultimately because it's makeup. I'm really honestly kind of mad. So, yeah. Next, I got my Ipsy bag. Hopefully this will be less disappointing. I think I know what's in here already because I read the email ahead of time and I shouldn't have done that. And Ipsy is a good subscription. As far as I know, even though I've never gotten one, is because they actually come on time and, I don't know, like, they don't suck as much. Ooh, and I got this, like, oh, this is so cool. See, these are little makeup samples that people want, okay? Like, it's little pots, but it's, like, so cute. Okay, so this is the new BB cushion thing, and it just, ooh, these are cool. It's, like, foundation, and it just has a bunch of different... BB creams and foundations that you could use, and it's cool, you know, it's like available at Target, 
like this is a good like makeup sample because it looks cool but like the birch box ones like they don't even give you makeup anymore anyways here is the ipsy bag of oh my gosh okay so here's the ipsy bag of the month it's pretty cute i'd say and it is Rebecca Minkoff for Ipsy. I'm so excited. Like, I've always wanted something from Rebecca Minkoff. And I, I'm going to feel like I got something from Rebecca Minkoff. So I'm just going to open this. Is this filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. hey. Now I have something from Rebecca Minkoff. I'm actually so excited. Okay. So first of all, I got this cleanser I actually really 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 needed a cleanser and this is a rich ball makeup remover and deep cleansing mask like this genuinely looks like an actual sample and it's like two ounces it's like more of a good travel size items and item and this is from skin by Dimitri James like this actually looks legit okay like compared to Birchbox like do you do you see this like I don't I don't even know like I'm so done with Birchbox like I might just unsubscribe and I want to make sure that Birchbox sees this video maybe we probably won't anyways next I got this butter gloss from NYX and see this is actually a product that I want like I think this is a full size product which is amazing and this is a very pretty coral color and this is an apple strudel I'll definitely be using this it's so pretty and it's just like um a pretty pigmented lip gloss I feel like if I swatch it you guys won't see it so yeah just a really really pretty color hope you guys could see that somehow it's gorgeous next I got Pretty in Paradise. That's like the box for Ipsy this month. This, and this is a beach spray. This is also a sample, and this is from Mark Anthony, so that's when you know it's like a legit product. Like, I think you've heard of that brand, and it's a pretty nice brand. And see, like, I want this, okay? Like, it's a beach spray. It's like good for summertime. But Birch Box, nah, you get these ugly little samples. Like, no, this actually looks like a really cute product that I will be using like on the beach so I don't have to like carry a big spray around you know what I mean that's actually legit and then I think finally the last thing that I got ooh, is this Jessie's Girl liquid liner and this is I think a full size it looks like a full size and you could buy this at Rite Aid oh my gosh I totally have a Rite Aid Nah, I don't live on the East Coast, but you know, this seems like a good eyeliner. I have like 10 eyeliners now, so that's a good thing, right? So that's pretty much it for this video. I'd say that I kind of expected more out of Ipsy, but I'm actually really happy about the products because they're like, at least they're products that I'll actually use. And then Birchbox was just like, I don't even know this month. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my comparison between Birchbox and Ipsy. Like, honestly, don't even bother subscribing to Birchbox. And, like, I don't know if they have a waitlist. Like, their waitlist isn't as long, but just don't do it. It's, like, not worth it. And Ipsy, I'd say it's worth it because you actually get quality sample sizes slash full-size products. So that's it for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out, guys. Bye!